right, welcome to session one of Masticam Basics. I'm going to assume that you do not have any experience with Masticam. If you do, you can skip this video and go on to the next one. But I'm going to start with the very, very basics. Okay, I'm teaching you from Masticam Package X7. If you have an earlier version like X1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all this is going to look very much the same, especially some of the basics that I'm going to cover right here. All right, so the first thing I want to do is change the color of our background here. It shows a blue maybe when you turn it on, and I'm going to turn that to white because that will probably show up better for the video. So we're going to go up to Settings, Configuration, then we click on Colors right here on the left side of the screen, select Graphics Background Color, and you can see this little window right here is blue and that is the current background color. Now we go over to the right and we see our color palette. We're just going to click on the white field right here and now you can see that's a preview of our new background color. And we're going to click on OK. And then this window pops up, you just say yes. And now we have a white background. The crosshair that you see right here in the middle, you can move around. If you hold your Alt key and your center mouse button, you can pan it back and forth. Okay. If you don't see the crosshair, then click on F9 to toggle it on. If you want to toggle it off and on, you just keep clicking on F9 button. All right. All right, so let's start by creating a circle on the screen so we have some geometry to look at for our exercise. So let's click on Create, then we're going to wand over Arc, and then in this box, Circle with Center Point, and we're going to left click, left mouse click on that, and that opens up this menu. Now look at the cursor and let it wand close to this intersection right here of the crosshair, and it snaps to that intersection, and then click your left mouse button and drag away from the origin and let that circle grow and then click again and then you commit that circle right there. Now at this point the circle diameter right in this field here is 3 inches 3, 8, 6, 7. So while it's highlighted enter 3.0 then click enter and you can see the circle is now updated to 3 inches. Then we click on the OK button on this little green check mark. Alright, so now we're looking at our 3 inch circle. And if we right click, then we open up this box and we can click on Fit. And you can see the circle centers up on the screen and makes it as large as possible without going off the screen. Then we right click again and we click on Unzoom to 0.8. So we click on that, and we can keep doing that, and it will reduce by 0.2 each time we do that. Okay? So we come back to fit, and we're going to unzoom to 0.8. All right, so those are a couple of options to zoom in and out. Now, if you just roll the center button of your mouse, then if you roll it towards you, you can see it's zooming out. Okay? And then, of course, you roll that button the other way, it will actually come back to you. Now, if you hold your center button down and then roll the model, you get kind of a three-dimensional view of that circle. And if you let go of that center button, now you have basically messed up your 2D view of that. So if we right-click again and we click on top, it brings it back to where we're looking straight onto that circle. Now notice right here in the lower left hand corner you see G view, that's your graphics view. You have WCS, that is your work coordinate system. And then your C plane, which is your construction plane. Now these are all set to top right now and that is going to be the default plane that we're going to be working in. Now to change that, you can see down below here you left click on the G view and you can see you can have all these different options of all these different views. And then when you click on planes, 
you will change the work coordinate and the construction plane all at the same time. So make sure for now that we have everything set to top. Next let's talk about the color. So right now we have a system color of black. So if we left click on this field it opens up this color palette and you can see our current color is black in this field right here. So if we change that to blue and we click the OK button then anything we draw now, let's draw another circle, you can see when I click OK it turns blue. If I change that to green, click OK, draw another circle, drop it right there, say OK, now it's green. Now if I want to change those colors back to black, I right click on this field, then right here it says select the entities to change the color of. So I want to change this one and this one, then I click on this end selection, this green button right here, brings that color palette back up, I select black, I say OK, and notice all three of these are now black. Now that didn't change the system color, so now we need to left click back on that color, select black, and say OK. So now anything we draw is going to be drawn in black. Alright, so this is what you use to change the color of your geometry. Thanks for watching.